Hello everyone and welcome. This video is about Greeblink in Minecraft. So the idea of this video actually surfaced in one of my streams where we discussed it and decided that this would actually be a good video to make. So I'm going to just basically show you what's happening. So Greebling is a pretty cool technique that you can use when building actually anything in Minecraft. And that's what it is. It's a technique. Now I could go over this lengthy process of trying to describe what it is or I can just show you two pictures and you'll understand right away what Greebling is. So first here's a picture right here of a cube. Just a simple cube, nothing on the surface, bland, blank, nothing going on there. Now, this next picture, picture, <laughs> that's a strange word, picture, is a picture of a Borg cube from Star Trek. Now, it's still a cube, but if you look at it, I mean, look at the surfaces. They're no longer boring or flat anymore. They got all these intricate things going on the surface. And what they did is they used a technique called Greebling. Now, they added basically all the stuff that's random and has no real purpose other than to make the surface more interesting. And so here in Minecraft, you're basically just doing the same thing. And the basic or the simple word that kind of helps you understand it is random. But it's the idea of filling it in with different things that add depth and intrigue and interest to make it more interesting. So here is a little house that I have made temporarily. Uh, not a very interesting house. You may even call it kind of ugly. Because that's a very that's kind of actually an ugly roof line, but that's you know that's that's okay because we're just going to use it for greebling, and I'm not going to do a big house because I thought we just need to go over the concept. So here we have a boring house, and you can you know when you make a house sometimes you plan things like a typical house has like a bedroom and things like that. But greebling is not a planned thing, and the whole idea is you just use random things to fill it in. So you know we can come in here and we're going to put two slabs here that make no sense, right? And maybe there's some copper ore that comes right here that again makes no sense. Maybe then we're going to put some carpet down. You see, I'm just even picking random blocks that make no sense at all. I have no, I'm not even planning this. See? Now let's get a fence. And let's put uh, that right. I just did that random. Now let's put random button on it. I'm just randomly clicking on it. See, I'm greebling right now. Greebling. And I'm just filling it in. Sometimes I take a little bit of thought to what I'm going to type in, but otherwise, you know, there's not much thought going on in here. I'm still just greebling. Maybe a pot. Maybe. And maybe it doesn't even go on anything. Maybe it goes on the floor. And then maybe we got some dirt here. Again, I'm taking like no thought to it. Well, I guess a little bit of thought to the fact of trap doors. This is a common thing, putting trap doors around stuff. But maybe I use a hoe on it. And maybe I'm going to put some water down there. But I'm only going to do two surfaces. And maybe I'm going to do some sort of flower. I'm just continuing to be random. I'm just going to scroll through here and bamboo. And I'm going to scroll through here and maybe... Um, oh, come on. What's it growing again? What's it called? Blah, 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 blah. Warped. There it's the way. I just, my mind just couldn't think of it. Maybe I'm going to put that, like, right there. Oh, actually, I'm guessing crazy. You can put it wherever you want. And then maybe I'm going to put fences around it. But only right there. And now maybe I'm going to come get a random block. What, what random block? Well, maybe I can just do this. Like, that, you can do this, too. Just three random things in an item frame. And then more slabs. Why not? For shelving, you can even put that there. And then maybe another painting. I'm just being so random, but look, it's already filling in, and it's already got intrigue. And, it all, you know, some people might think you had a specific design in mind, but you didn't. It's all completely random. <laughs> Isn't that weird? What if we put glass right next to it? That'll sure confuse people. People will wonder what's going on in this house. You'll say, I don't know. I may I'll put clocks in there. Oh. You know what? Let's do an amethyst jar just because it showed up randomly. <laughs> this is getting fun and weird. What if we did uh, a wall? Two different kinds of walls. Let's do two different kinds of walls. 
And then underneath, let's just put uh, something random. Yeah, dried kelp. Maybe there's a trap door, but maybe this one's up. Look at this. This interior of this house has been greebled. Boy, that's weird. But see? We have effectively greebled this house. And you don't even have to do it in an interior. It looks good in the outside, too. Maybe you're going to put gravel down randomly. Fill it in. We're going to put some fences here. And again, this is no particular structure. I'm just placing those down very randomly. And people coming by can guess what you have in mind. You know, because they don't know. But they think you have something in mind, right? They have no idea that you're just completely random, that you're a greedling. Yeah, a jungle tree. But maybe it's like on top of these blocks right here. That'll confuse people. Greebling the outside. There's an Enderman. Now, he's a professional greebler. He puts that grass block wherever the heck he wants, and it's random. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, right? That's half of the fun. Greebling is a really fun technique for building like, adventure maps and stuff. See, we're already making a very interesting outside. Now, the idea with the technique of greebling is it's not going to always be what you want to do. It's not like something you do only, right? It's just something you can do every now and then as a technique to make things interesting. A, a fun way to do things. Yeah, we'll put that there. Why not? Completely random. Okay. This upstairs has been greebled. No, oh, I'll put a bed here. A little bit planned, right? A little bit planned. Two beds. But it has been greebled. And look, we just have a house that has an, a greebled interior. Kind of weird looking, but it's kind of cool looking too. You know, there's something going on here and it creates intrigue and interest. And as far as, the, as far as the outside yard goes, this is only beginning. This is, like, very little going on here, right? But see, this is the art. This is the process and the technique of greebling. And this is how it works. So for those of you who are watching my stream and wondered what exactly I was talking about, now you understand. And do I use the technique of greebling? As a matter of fact, I use it all the time. I, I use it all the time, and typically how often I use it, I usually, like, suppose I'm building a big house or a mansion, I'll use it like a third of the time or something, you know. I, I use it in some of my rooms, but not everywhere, because some things I want to plan to make look cool for other reasons. But, you know, that's that, and now at least you understand the art of greebling. Pretty cool. <laughs>